before we start, I oh. just want to say thank you so much for coming and thank you guys for your uh, care and your support. It's because of you that we get to go to wonderful places like this and meet fans of the work that we do and your enthusiasm, your joy uh, gives us such, such opportunities. I think we're the luckiest people in the world because we do exactly what we love to do in life and the voiceovers we do, working with wonderful people. And we are in the lucky position of actually meeting people and getting feedback as opposed to an electrician who never hears about, you know, how the night light and the toaster oven have always worked. So thank you that, so much for your support and for your enthusiasm and your passion for the games. And I just, before I start, to, to wish everybody that you have a, a, a life and a career uh, filled with happiness and joy doing what you love to do, following your heart, your passion, and doing what you love in what you do so that it reflects to the whole world. So thank you very much. Well, thank you guys. Without you, our favorite characters wouldn't exist. So you guys are the heart of these characters. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, do you have any questions? Come on, line up. Don't be shy. Because if not, I'm going to have to start asking questions. There's a microphone right up here so we can hear you. If you want to just line on up right up to this microphone. Okay. All right. So, big fan of you both. Love Overwatch. Thank love you. the Mario franchise. Thank you. And my question for you is, you know, if the characters from the Mario universe somehow magically came to the Overwatch universe, <laughs> what do you think would happen? They would have a blast together. They would have so much fun. Mario loves everybody and has a wonderful time with everybody. <laughs> he could give, you know, Reaper, like, to cheer up a little bit, you know, <laughs> make Widowmaker happy. I don't know, see? And then, think... you know, Somber could come up to, like, him and just say, oh, I'm a big fan of your video games. Yeah, you know, the thing is, it's, it's a great, I love how that, cre you know, inspires creativity with you. And creativity always inspires creativity. It's like, what would happen if it's such a wonderful scenario? We can't play that, I can't play that out as much as, you know, that would be lovely. I, I can't play that out because I have to be true to the character that I do, you know, and, and play those words and those scripts and that sort of thing, but it would be uh, fun, you know. Did, does everybody see all the creative things that happen on the internet and all the things involving the different characters? It's, it's really very cool. I, I'm always an admirer of creativity. <laughs> Thank you very much for your question. Hi, my name is Cameron. Uh, my question was for both of you. Uh, I was just sort of curious, what was like the series of events that led to you getting all your characters? Like, uh, like maybe who came up to you and how did you end up getting the roles that she started playing? Uh, for me, um, I, well, I, I've been an on-camera actor for about 11 years okay. and about three years ago, uh, I, I was one of those people where I would be in like the high school hallways and like people would be able to recognize my voice from down the hall. They're like, oh, I knew it was you, Charlotte. I knew that was you. So I felt like, okay, well, this is something that I would really want to do as well. So I got an agent and after that, a lot of people think that there, these opportunities are very um, easy to get and a lot of times they're not. But once you get an agent, you end up, you know, getting these opportunities. I had no idea um, that I was I was uh, auditioning for Blizzard Entertainment or any anything of that. <laughs> sort and I sent in an audition went to the callback booked the role and here I am okay <laughs> my, mine mine was, was easier I was doing a lot of a lot of actors do and is, is it possible to get a, a bottle of water please that'd be so great thank okay. you so much um, uh, so I was doing what a lot of actors do I was sitting on the beach reading a book waiting for the phone to ring <laughs> and the phone rang and it was a friend of mine said, you gotta go crash this audition. It's for a show in Las Vegas. And I said, there is absolutely no way I would ever crash an audition. I am a professional actor, where would I go? And, and I have no idea why, but I got off the beach, put the novel down, and went, went to uh, this audition, and I was walking in as the producer and cameraman were walking out the door, and I said, hey, can I please read for this? And there was that moment of like, ah. Oh. You know, that, that he thought he was finished with his day. He goes, all right, all right, come on inside. You're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn. Uh, there's a real-time animation system. You're going to have these things glued to your face. And th when you talk, the cartoon character is supposed to talk to you, and you can move them around the screen and gesture. And, and we have no idea if this is going to work or not. But if it doesn't work, I'm not going to pay you to drink coffee all day. So make up a voice, make up a video game, start talking. And whenever you run out of things to say, that's your audition. And I'm thinking to myself, self? 
Italian plumber from Brooklyn. Get out of my face, I'm wicked here, you know? And I thought, well, this is not what I would want to do for eight hours a day, you know, as opposed to drinking coffee. But I thought, you know, I could do something, you know, and, hey, what do you want from me? And I thought, well, I, what if I did something like I'd done Gremio and Taming of the Shrew a few years before in a theater production, and, you know, nice Italian guy, talk like, ah, Senor Mio Petruccio. Thought, well, I could do something like that, but make it younger, and I just, well, I'll just talk about, wait a minute, I don't know anything about video games except waka, 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 you know, and talk and boom, boom, de -ah, you know, the, the sound I heard the most. And I, you know, I, I said, okay, well, I, I, you know, I'll, just, I'll just make something up and be, be fun, you know? And, and all of a sudden I heard action. I said, hello, I'm a Mario. Let's make a pizza pie together. You will get some sausage. I get some spaghetti. You put spaghetti in the sausage and the pizza. And then we cook with the pizza. Then I chase with the pizza. And if I catch you the pizza, you gotta eat the pizza. And I'm thinking he's gonna go, okay, yeah, that's fine, thank you. He didn't, so I said, and then we'll make another pizza. And you'll chase me with the pizza. And if you catch me with the pizza, I can eat the pizza. And then we're gonna make a lasagna. And we're gonna make a lasagna, and I'm gonna chase you down the cane in the pain of lasagna, and catch you, we're gonna eat the lasagna. And then we're gonna make a spaghetti meatballs. And then, and I just, you know, I thought, well, this is fun enough to just keep going, and I'm not gonna stop. There's no way I'm gonna stop. So I, ca I kept talking until I heard, stop talking. <laughs> There's no more videotape, thank you. We'll be in touch. And I thought, well, that's the end of that one. Get back to the beach, watch the sunset. But, you know, I talked all the way through the 30-minute tape and, and just, I don't know about what, but, you know, food, obviously. I, I have a favor for food. So, you know, and I get a call the next day. It's like, okay, can you fly to L.A. tomorrow morning? And da, 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 we're going to do fittings. And, and that was 27 years ago of, of 27 years of absolute fun and joy. So that thing led to doing Luigi and all the other characters and, you know, but of course, I had done maybe 2,000 other jobs before that. Okay. Thank so, you, uh, you know. so much for your answers. Thank you. Yippee! Hi. Um, Hi. Could you do an impression of each other's character as your character? <laughs> no, I can't. But thank you very much for asking. No, that's, that's one thing, you know, just out of respect for the, the, the people that, that I work with. You know, I don't want to do something that is out of the character. I only, you know, do things. I, like, I don't order pizza as Mario because I, I just have this relationship of 27 years and I just hold very sacred. It but, could but be thank like a you. voice line from each other. Like... Yes, this! <laughs> <laughs> it's time to win. win. Love Diva. <laughs> like, thank you so much. That's so great. What a great character. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Just wanted to let you know that I'm really excited about Super Mario Odyssey coming out soon. Oh, thanks. I know, right? This is going to be like one of those Hallmark games, like 64, like the greatest oh, yeah. game ever. I am so excited about it. And I've seen it and played it, and it's, it's amazing. <laughs> These tables don't work as well uh, as they do on TV. <laughs> Yay! Thanks. Thank you, Conk. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited about it, too. It's just going to be incredible. I have this wonderful thing. Whenever I see a game for the first time, I think it's the greatest game ever made, and it's my favorite in the world. That happened with Galaxy and Sunshine and 64, and every time I saw a game, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing ever, and I really, really mean it this time. Oh, yeah. Uh, I loved all the previous ones, like especially Galaxy. That was just a huge Wasn't it, branch I, yeah. out for the series. I know. Um, I love Galaxy because when you play it, it's like I still go like this. <laughs> and I, you know, I can't not. And I can always find out that the principal, princess is not in this castle, but I can never find the one she actually is in. Exactly. <laughs> but I wanted to ask you, um, with sure. all the new variety of power-ups that Mario can throw his cap onto, like a T-Rex, tank, all sorts of crazy stuff, do you have a personal preference or a favorite? Yes, every single one of them. I just love it. You know, it's still so new for me that every time I see one, I'm so blown away and so in awe of it. I just, I, the thing that I love so much about Nintendo is, you know, here's a company where every single person in that company has massive passion and joy and love for video games. And it shows in absolutely everything. The reason there's a Galaxy 2 is because after Galaxy 1, people still kept creating Earths and gravities and, and villains and things because they were having so much fun until Mr. Mr. Miyamoto said, well, okay, let's make a second one then. And then it was like, yippee! 
CEO <laughs> run the company, you know? Because, you know, it, it, it's it just like being an actor. You know, the, the paradigm says there's competition and 99% unemployment rate and you can't, you can't do it. You know, if there's anything else, do that. But, you know, the truth is that's one paradigm. The other paradigm is when you're doing what you love and you're following your heart and you're pursuing your passions and you're just having a great time, the resonance of that can't help but bring nice things to you, you know? Resonant causation, you know, is what, is what I think it's called. And it really is true. It's like you just have a great time and good things happen. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> What is your favorite Mario voice you did? Oh, my favorite Mario voice. That's a great question. I love every one of them. You know, I, I love Super Mario, number one. Luigi, number one. Luigi, number one. And Luigi, when, the, when he stares, he does that thing. <laughs> That thing, I love that. I love the way Waluigi and Wario are always, you know, just muddling everything out. And I'm some. I like to be more like Mario in my daily life, but oftentimes in the morning I'm a little bit more Wario, a little bit more Waluigi. You know, you drop the coffee maker, you drop your cup, you drop your. I spilled a whole cup of coffee in bed the other day, which I don't think I've ever done that before. It was a pretty major accomplishment. Like the whole everything just turned brown coffee. It it was quite amazing. So I, I love that. And I love the babies too, you know. Mamma mia! Who's your favorite? Mario. Woohoo! Me too. Me too, because you know, every actor, the character has to be real and it has to come from a place in you. And that character for me comes from pure joy, pure love, pure innocence, pure fun, pure respect and love for everybody, which is a huge thing that I believe in is just love and care and respect everybody because we're all here with the same, uh, same heart, same feelings, same everything. We just look different. Thank you very much for your question. And thank you very much for playing my games. <laughs> <laughs> when you like first started like recording his voices, did you realize that like it was going to become one of the most iconic games of all time? Like, did you have any idea? Of that? That's a that's a great question. I think n neither one of us would have any idea that what we were doing was going to lead to more. I had never heard of Mario. I had never heard of Nintendo. I had done a few video games, but I did video games like you have to die 138 ways in death by tank, you know. Now you get shot in the arm. Ah, now you get shot in the head. Uh, now, you know, oh, that was too long of an uh. We didn't have enough memory, you know. How about a uh, that, That's better, that's better. You know, that was my familiarity with video games. You know, there was just was, was no, there was no... Uh, a paradigm for me to grasp onto. So I had no idea. All I knew is I was having a wonderful time doing the audition and then doing the job, you know, because I was in a hidden camera, hidden microphone, hiding in a back room with a super computer, computer bigger than one of these squares, crunching numbers with dry ice on it, flying him around, being the first performer in the world to ever do real-time animation. And it was all just a dream, you know? It was just like, oh, let's have fun. Want to do it again? Let's do it again. Yippee! You know, it's just one fun thing led to another fun thing. I, I came up with the idea for Luigi when people would walk up to the TV set and say, hey, Mario, can I please talk to your brother Luigi? And I would say, there is no Luigi. So what am I going to do? I say, I look off the side of the screen and say, hey, Luigi, can you come out? Oh, no, I'm in the kitchen making spaghetti meatballs. Besides, I'm too shy. I couldn't move my mouth because I had tractors on it. And I said, oh, he says he's, he's in the kitchen making spaghetti meatballs. Besides, he's too shy. Oh, please. And they say, oh, please. Oh, sorry, you can't do it. He says, sorry, you can't do it. So I'm just making up things as, as I go along. And it's just been one creative process of fun and silliness and joy. How about for you? Did you know what when you started? What was the question again? <laughs> I, was just, I was asking you, did, 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 did you know when you started that it was going to lead to No, so like much? I said, I didn't know what I was auditioning for. A lot of times they don't say what you're auditioning for, so I just went in and they said that they wanted somebody who uh, was a really good video game player because Diva is herself, as well as somebody who might be embody a Korean pop star, so that's what I went in with, and when I got it, it was uh, it was exciting. But, you know, you never know when you get um, a role whether what it's really going to be like until it comes out. So, yeah, it's, it's always a pleasant surprise. I also Thank have you. one more question for, oh, sure. for both of you. Which one is your favorite Mario brother, Mario or Luigi? Oh, you know, I, I love that question. I, you know, I, I am more Luigi. I'm the second born. I'm taller than my brother. I had to run faster out of necessity through my whole childhood. 
And, you know, I'm definitely more trepidatious. My brother would see a door and walk through it, whether there was glass or screen or no matter what it was. And I'd be like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if we should go through that. I don't, I don't know. So I am much more Luigi, but I aspire to be much more Mario because I love that character's sense of, you know, courage. And, it, you know, it's like he faces adversity with a, let's go, you know. There's never that sort of like, oh, 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 oh you know, the, the, the Luigi, Mario. There's always that trepidation. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Luigi, Luigi number one, Luigi number one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. This question is for both of you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what do you guys do during your non-recording times for work and whatnot? Um, would you like to go first? Go ahead. Um, <laughs> I'm like literally even today I had an audition in the morning and so I was in my hotel room putting something on camera so I straddled both oh hello hello is this thing on um a voiceover and on camera acting and so I'm really literally just always on either a set or studio or auditioning um and other other than that uh, I have a little dog that I named Joffrey, not from Game of Thrones, but kind of, <laughs> um, because I just, uh, Queen Cersei is, uh, is my spirit animal, and so anything related to Game of Thrones, but um, yeah, no, I just, I, uh, I spend time with my dog, Joffrey. <laughs> I just get on the plane. <laughs> I, I travel, I did uh, uh, probably 250,000 miles last year. I'll do 250,000 this, wow. this year. I love the world, I love travel. I don't have time for film and television or anything that's, that, that the demand's like, you know, because the demand is huge. You know, you have an audition, a call back, meet the director, then go and do a costume fitting, then do, do a job, that's, that's huge. I, I just have so much fun traveling. And you know, I, I, I do a few auditions. I don't really audition much anymore. I just, I, I love to, to, to see the world. So I just, I just get on a plane and go places. Second question is, how long did it take you to record the lines for Super Mario Odyssey? Well, I can't tell you whether that's even been recorded or not. Oh, okay. But traditionally we do like, you know, between one and four days, four hour session days, doing, doing a, a, you know, a, a capital game like that, you know, uh, a, a title, a major title like that. So, you know. Something probably between one and four days. All right, thank you. And it's so fun. Wait till you see it. That's why I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I get to go in the studio and go, what? Oh my goodness. And then, and then what? You know. <laughs> thank you. It's so great. Thank you. Hi there. Hello. Um, just want to say it's a pleasure to meet you both of you. I think as you, Charles, being a voice actor and doing Mario for over like 20 years, like being part of my childhood and yeah. playing video games. And you, Charlotte, of course, like being new, and of course now making like Overwatch one of the coolest video games of all time. So it's a pleasure to meet you too. But I had Thank a question you. for both of you. Yeah. With, with you, Charles, you being a voice actor for this long, and you, Charlotte, kind of getting into it. What is some advice for maybe for those who want to get into voice acting or so into video games? The, the best thing I can say is, is there's a there's a web page, and I can't remember the guy, but Phil Phil uh, Lamar. Uh, talks about this whenever he does a panel and it's like I want to be a voiceover actor dot com or I want to be a voice actor dot com if you just google that there's about 50 pages of really solid advice My, the advice that I have is exactly what I started with in the beginning today because you know be an, to be an actor, because all acting is the same, you know, it's just the size that's different. A film actor has to feel something and you know it, but if I just feel it, you'll, you'll never know, you know, Mario had anything. A, a, a voice actor and a cartoon has to be explosive with the emotions the way an opera singer does, you know? But it always has to come from truth. But when you, when you are actually acting, the, the thing is to be an actor, you learn, you learn, you learn, you, learn, you observe, you watch people, you know, you read Stanislavski book on acting, because voiceover acting is acting. You know, it's, it's the character, all characters have a reason they do things, why they're doing things, where they're going. Every character has an arc, a beginning, a middle, and an end, transition and changes that go through. And every character has to be consistent and believable from the beginning to the end. You know, you can't suddenly do a different voice when you're, you know, just because you're angry. That anger has to be consistent with, or the sadness or crying or laughter has to be consistent with the character. So you learn how to build a character so that when you look at a piece of paper, and there's a guy with a big jaw, and read a little eyes, you may be 
talk like that. You know, you sort of adapt to it in the moment and then without apology. So the real advice of acting is do what you love to do. And when you are doing an audition or anything else, acting is like a dog chasing a stick on the beach. There is absolutely no outside observation of the dog to himself. There's no critical eye, there's no critical thinking. There's simply one thing. Get the stick, bring it back, get the stick, bring it back. And it's that level of commitment that if you have that, then you have a chance of getting the job. And there's the paradox in there. Because if you try to be the dog chasing the stick, then you're, you're outside looking in. If you become that dog chasing the stick, once you know all your technique, you know when you shout into the microphone, you lean your head back, you don't damage your voice, you know, you, you get away, you, you, you learn the intimacies in the trade, but then you just let go. And that's the best piece of advice, and too long for the, this panel, but, but become what you are doing. What's that website, um, I want to be a voice actor.com, that is by Dee Bradley Baker, who's another voiceover artist that you guys are probably familiar with. And then the other one that I would recommend is um, if you guys Google Crispin Freeman, he also has a really good sort of up to date blog and website that can be very helpful as well. So, Crispin Freeman, who's actually Winston in Overwatch, if you guys didn't know that already, and Dee Bradley Baker's I want to be a voice actor.com. Dee Bradley Baker, that's who it was. Yeah. Yay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Hello there. Hello there. I actually have uh, two questions. The first one is uh, between the two games that uh, uh, that Diva's featured in, Heroes of the Storm and Overwatch, and all the games that uh, Mario is featured in. Which are kind of your uh, favorite moments, and if you guys get a chance to uh, play them at all? What's your favorite what? What's the uh, favorite moment in the game moment if you guys got a chance to play it? Our experience. Oh, it's so. easy rescuing the princess. You know, sometimes you get a little kiss on the nose. Sometimes you get a cake. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's what life is all about. Getting a kiss from the princess. Right that's on what the nose. Is, uh, right on the nose. Right on the nose. <laughs> um, for me, it's definitely, in, at least in gameplay, I like killing baby diva. Um, <laughs> once you're, you know, once the other diva is out of her mech and she's in baby form. It is time to kill. So I would say that would be it. And then of course like, you know, um, the ultimate and getting a team kill, which I, you know, when, when I do, it's just like, hi, this is what I live for. So, um, and, and then of course play of the game. There's so many moments, but probably like, and there'll be, you know, there'll be like an entire team, opposing team around me, and I will go and gun it for the diva because there's nothing more satisfying than hearing her go, ah, and having her die. <laughs> so that would be probably my favorite moment. And the second question is, is how is working with the uh, other voice actors for, uh, your games. Oh, I, you, I don't know if you know this, but we actually don't really record with one another most of the time, unless you're on an animation series, which an ensemble-based experience. When it comes to video games, um, most of the time we're in the studio by ourselves, and we have a director or somebody else who's le reading the lines of the other people. So um, I think it's really important to have a really good cast, but oftentimes, at least when it comes to the in the context, or when it comes to um, working with other actors, we usually see each other at conventions <laughs> and um and if 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 a game has like an after party or something we'll see each other then but i don't know if this is your experience with um with uh super mario but at least for overwatch i've never ever worked with the rest of the cast oh that's so funny yeah. we go to this little studio called the mushroom kingdom and we all just run around and shit no, i'm lying <laughs> that was me not telling the truth could you tell i was acting no <laughs> You know, even in the old days, just 10 years ago, you used to go into a studio to record your auditions or your every, you know, and you would have, you, you know, dancing in and out with a microphone with five people and you'd be around actors because then you'd be waiting in line, you'd read up with each other, you'd go in there and then you'd go from there, you'd go to have coffee and then you'd end up having dinner together. Actor, 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 like the theater. Actor, 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 actor. Now, you know, I, it's like, 
I have a, a microphone. I used to carry around a $2,000 microphone, sound digitizing equipment, little, little studio that I could put in the room. Now I carry my iPhone and plug an Apogee 92 microphone into it because my agent can't tell the difference between that and a, and a Sennheiser 416. And I just put the sheets over my head and do the acting, you know, uh, do my auditions or my reads, my uh, stuff that I put on broadcast television, you know, with the, with, you know, I call it the undercover, undercover production company, you know. <laughs> because that's the way technology has gone. I never even see actors except when I come to a place like this. We've never met before. We could work together in the same series for, for 20 games and I never w w would meet you. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. You know, she was just here. Oh, nice. You know, but we would never see each other. That's, that's the evolution. And, and, and doing commercials too. You know, the announcer can be in Chicago. The other actor you're reading with can be in, in New York. You can be in Los Angeles and, you know, San Francisco. And you never see anybody. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Do you want to pull it off there? There you go. Yeah, give, yeah, give that a tug. Perfect. Hello. If you and King Cooper were to meet each other, yes. what would you do together? Well, you know, we probably would have a lot of fun together running around until, you know, he tried to like kidnap the Princess Peach. And then I would go, whoa, 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 I'm going to get you. Something like that. And as long as like, I mean, I suppose a person could be friends with Goombas and friends with King Cooper and can't can friends with Bowser, you know, but you know, sometimes when they do those naughty things, they kidnap a princess, I've got to go rescue her. So I think that's what, I think we'd probably have a good time unless, the old kidnapper Rooney started happening. Then it'd be like, woohoo! <laughs> thank you so much for asking. And thank you very much for playing my games. Um, that was such a great question. Uh, Hi. I, I, uh, ha I, ha I had a, a serious question I was going to ask, but it was already asked. So, That's um, okay. You look so great. Thank you so much for dressing you. up. I don't you think what cosplay is like one of the funnest things in the world? I always say these are the greatest things in the world. The the the, the, the super con, comic con, because you get to meet people who have the same desires and passions that you have, and you could meet somebody who's into the same thing that you're into and become friends for life. I've even met people who got married, you know, uh, here so, in these things. So yippee! But, but um, I wanted to ask yes. if um, one of you could say, to say um, Kauai in one of your character voices. Ka Kauai? The island of Kauai? Kauai! <laughs> Ka Thank Kauai. you. The island of Kauai? Uh, also, girl in the purple. Uh, uh, no, no, Kauai. Oh, girl with the blue hair. I love your shirt. I love your shirt. Me? Yes. Oh. Okay. I was trying to say I love your shirt. I'm sorry. <laughs> Loves your hair too. Oh, thank and you. I, and also, I love the games that you guys voice oh. act, and I'm actually a diva main, so. Oh, thank you. So yes, um, <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Hi. Um, thank you. This one's for Charlotte. Okay. Uh, is there anything you can say about a possible summer game? Can you just speak up just a little bit? Move the microphone. Yeah, come bring that. Oh. Is there anything you can say about a possible Summer Games 2017? I'm sorry. Is there anything you can say about a possible Summer Games? Oh, Summer Games in, in, in 2017. 17. Oh, um, even if I knew, I'd have to kill you. Yeah, we do. We do NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, yeah. and you lose your job for good if you don't uh, obey that signature. Mm. <laughs> and, uh... For Charles, yes. What are your feelings on socks and sandals? Uh, what are my feelings on socks with sandals? Socks with sandals. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? I think that some people can get away with it, mm -hmm. but I'm not one of them. Mm. <laughs> and I can get away with a lot. Mm. And I do. All right. Thank you. I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. I can't see your shirt, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this question is for Charlotte. Um, I have a four-year-old daughter who likes watching me play Overwatch, and I play it all the time. She likes to sit right next to me and watch. Uh, how do you feel about being uh, having a character that empowers women and, and young girls, and how that's kind of changing the way that gaming is as a whole landscape, being mostly a male-dominated 
sport to to you know women having more of a of a representation there specifically for you know with Overwatch. Yeah, that's a really great question. Um, I think um, one of the things that I'm most proud about Diva is that she is the symbol of feminism in Korea. I don't know if you guys know this, but she, the bunny actually ended up being um, something that, that the symbol that they used in political campaigns um, to for the empowerment of women, which I think is just crazy that something that uh, was traditionally not taken seriously, such as you know, game the the world of gaming and video games in general, can also translate to real life and in, in in such a um, uh, impactful way. So I'm very, very proud of that. I'm also proud of the fact that she's a female gamer, and that too was also just not has not been taken seriously. And still, we have a lot of work to do. Still, I, I was, uh, I did my very first Twitch stream a couple of months ago. But before that, I went on. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Max Middleman and Robbie Damon are, but the the two of them and I, we we went on a, um, uh, we played a game, a quick play together, and. Even on that, they have no idea it's me on, you know, on the line with the, with the mic on. And people are, and my friend Max was like, guys, he's one punch man, by the way, if you guys don't know who he is. And he's like, guys, this is Diva. And they're like, yeah, whatever, bitch. And like, <laughs> I'm like, no, it really is. Not this. And they're like, uh, yeah, whatever. Just play the game. And I just, and then came just this onslaught of all kinds of lewd, obscene, you know, language towards towards me, and they didn't know. And I think that, and you know, they didn't know who I was. All they knew was that I would. They heard a female voice, and so when things like that happen, I experiencing that feeling like harassed verbally on, you know, on in a gaming experience. That was my first time this past year because I usually don't put the mic on just in case I do get recognized. And so when I play, and so I would, I was just really shocked and so when I when I speak to young women about gaming in general I'm very I'm very much an advocate of just hang in there surround yourself with other good women and men who um, can who want to spread a positive message when it comes to femininity and and being a confident gamer especially because and I see that a lot more in like the twitch world and whatnot and I'm very proud of of, of the people who are representing diva and who made her. So yeah, thanks for the question. Thank you. It, it is an amazing thing in our world that it, in no country do women have equal pay for equal work. Yeah, agreed. Yet, we need history. to get there, yeah. And you know, it, it's, it, 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 I don't talk politics, but everybody should be involved in politics because if you believe in the American dream of equality for everybody and the life and liberty and pursuit of happiness, then you have to be actively engaged in protecting your freedoms and making sure that everyone has freedoms. Otherwise, they get taken away. You know, so there really is a civic duty. In Denmark, 98% or 96% of people vote in off-year elections because they're involved in that process of securing their rights. And I, I think it's, it's something that we could learn from. That's my political speech. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Um, I was just wondering if either of you have read the book Voice Over Voice Actor and what your opinions on it are. I haven't read that book. I haven't either. Oh, no. Great <laughs> book. <laughs> OK. Great right. book. Well, never mind. <laughs> sorry. What's it called? Wait, sorry. Sorry. Uh, hello, uh, hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Khalik. Um, I have a question uh, for both of you. Um, okay. Since game characters now exist in more forms of content, like animated shorts and in-game sequences, what kind of approach do you use to build and add more depth to your characters? Also, what experiences did you draw from to create that character? Um, for me, you know, like, you know how Blizzard has been uh, releasing those cinematics? I think that when I watched the cinematic before uh, the game, after the beta came out and I saw the cinematic, I was like, oh, okay, they're, they want to do more than just having, like, a one-dimensional character. And even when it is one-dimensional, like, for example, um, you know, in Call of Duty, there isn't as much, uh, or uh, there isn't as much backstory. And so you do have to, and even when you get an audition as an actor for on camera, you really do have to um, do uh, a, a whole bunch of preparation and there's a lot of information that you don't know that you have to sort of 
you know, embed in there and make your own. That's like, that's one of the major things that I think actors uh, are constantly trying to do is to make a character our own instead of doing something that the, the producer, you think the producer wants to pick or wants to hear or see. So um, as it relates to Diva specifically, I, I just really um, did what I thought w would channel a pro star gamer and pop star and um, and as you guys have kind of contributed into the lore of, of, of the Overwatch world, I have drawn from that as well. So um, all the ships and everything, everyone always <laughs> asks me, like, do you like Gremlin Diva and do you like the ships? And I absolutely love it and I, I play into it as well and, and that inspires me for all the sessions that I go in going forward. It was really interesting. You mentioned something about four days, you said you worked on a video game. Is it over in, in that amount of time? Uh, it depends you, on the part. Because you, you do keep do going it. in, right? For pickups. Nah, nah, really? Nah, nah. I want. I one want. Take <laughs> really? That's what told me. Oh my god. One take Chuckaroo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. For for this game, I specifically, I think I've been working on it for two and a half years, and it's it's continue. I still go in for sessions. It's not like we know what's going to happen in 2019. So as the campaigns come out. Um, I, I go back in for it, and so that's no secret. Everybody knows that you know it's not like we could work, you, we could record all the voices for what's going to happen in 2020. Right. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that answers your question. No, that answers my question, um, and also Charles, um, in terms of you know with uh, Super Mario Odyssey, you're, there's I'm sure there's going to be some in-game anima animation sequences. So I, I know you have to add more depth to what Mario does. So. Yeah, it's 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 all it's all it's all so much fun. It's interesting to me. The, the development of the character for me has been a process, obviously, for 27 years now. And you know, when I first did it, it was like, well, I want to be more fun and joyful and make things that are optimistic. I always believe that you know, uh, in improv and in all things in life, I want to be supportive and not negative. I, you know, and life always has lessons. My, my very first acting class, there was a guy with a, a terrible stammer. A stutter and I asked him if he had always had that and he said you know uh, no when I was 21 on my 21st birthday we went to Las Vegas I was at a show and we're eating dinner watching the show of comedian is very funny and all of a sudden the lights come up hey stand up it's somebody's birthday look you know and, and he stood up and people applaud and he goes look at that fat ugly kid my god I bet your mom wished she went back for an boy and just you know he was a comedian that did a Serbic humor, you know, always at the expense of somebody else. And uh, he said, I got smaller and smaller every joke, and every joke, it was more, worse and worse on me, and my, every, my friends were laughing at me, and I woke up the next morning with a stutter, and I've had it ever since. So for me, uh, I, I've always believed that you have an impact in, in everything you do in life. It's amazing, you know, that the, the Eastern philosophy of, you know, you drop a pebble in the, in the pond, and the ripples keep going past the shore out into the universe. And you, you do, we get to see impact. We get to hear about it. You know, you're the voice of my childhood, or I, my, something happened, and I cling to your character as a, set, a source of something. But, you know, you don't always get to hear that, and, and it just, I'm conscious, const, constantly reminded of how much impact you have. So when I formulated Mario for a personality type, it started with fun and jovial, and then I took the responsibility more to be, well, here is someone who is respectful of everybody, caring of everybody, full of love and joy and innocence. You know, the child that is the, also the adult, the adult that is a child. And it's a huge belief of mine that, you know, A, the commonality of all human experience and all people, but, but also that, you know, you have a chance to do good with what you do. And so you, you just do it, you know? Right. There was something else I wanted to speak to and I forgot what it was, but. No, it's okay. No, no, no. Yeah. No, you, you both yeah. answered my question. Uh, yeah, life is such a great gift, and we all have that same experiences, the same hopes and dreams and desires, sadness and loss. You know, it's just we're in different physical bodies, so we can't always go across the uh, racial divide or sexual divide or country d divide because we learn so much. But yeah, this is what it is: is we also have the, the immense power to choose innocence. Because cynicism is the natural course. The paradigm of competition, therefore I can't make it as an actor, is a natural thing to think. But it's not true. Uh, you know, and, and, and cynicism is, is the natural course, but it's not true. 
You know, people really are wonderful. You know, you read about it in the newspaper, everything, how terrible people are, and oh my gosh, look at this story and that story. But the truth is, the, the beauty and the truth and the goodness is, is in absolutely everybody, and is just waiting to come out. Thank you so much. Sure. All right, so uh, I play a lot of Overwatch, so my question is more directed at Charlotte. So I hear voice lines spammed all the time. So I'm wondering what your favorite voice line is for D.Va overall, and if there's any scrapped ones that you really like that didn't get in. Uh, the scrapped one that I really liked that didn't make it was, oh, 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 D.Va style. And the reason is because um, of Gangnam Style and how they couldn't get the licensing for it. And so I know it would have been such a good one. And, um, but I, I, I like that one. And I like, boom shakalaka, she's on fire. <laughs> um, I also like Winky Face. Um, and Charging <laughs> Na. That would probably be my favorite one. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, uh, so Mario was the first game I ever played when I was a kid, and in adulthood, okay. I play a lot of Overwatch. It's okay. a great game that me and my girlfriend play together. She's actually a, a diva main. Um, What's up? <laughs> so I wanted to ask you guys, um, do you get to play your own games, and if so, how often do you play them? Uh, I play about an hour a day. Oh, wow. I, yeah, uh, on um, PS4. I was on console in the beginning, and then I ended up. Uh, I was road. I was a Roadhog main for about a week or two, and then after that, I switched to console. Um, and. The reason is because when I went to BlizzCon, right, the week before I went to BlizzCon, I was like, oh my god, like, I've worked on this game for, at that point, like two, almost two years, one and a half years, and I, and I know a lot about it through the work that I did, but I don't know how to play it. And so I got on, and basically, um, especially because D.Va herself is a gamer, I thought it was really important to be able to not just represent her, but also to be able to be her and, and know what I'm talking about, because it's there's nothing worse than like, like meeting somebody and then finding out that they don't know anything about the thing that you're fanning out about and I don't like letting people down in that way so I then switched over to console and I play about an hour a day and um, before before bedtime um, <laughs> and then and and I'm a diva main I don't play anybody else on ps4 so maybe we've played <laughs> what about you Charles do you play video games yes you do Yes. <laughs> not very well. <laughs> I can always find out that the princess is not in this castle, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Just to let you guys know, we have a little less than 10 minutes. So if you okay. can, just stick with one question, and we'll try to get as and, and many we'll as we can. And we'll shorten our answers so we get everybody in. But they have to get back to their table. So we're going to try to get That's right, you guys. We've got to come and visit us. We weren't, we're, we're not as easy to find as some. But if you find us, we do autographs and photographs. I, I do uh, record like voice recordings and shout outs to friends and things like that. So come by and say hi. Hello. Uh, hi. My question's mainly for Charlotte. Um, so I met you at Momocon a couple months ago. Hi again. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, you, you teased at like a new uh, something new coming out that you worked on. God, I did. Uh, it was probably a mistake. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I was just curious if you could announce it yet or not. Oh, what did I tease? Uh, you said you were working on an anime of some sort. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm working on an animation. Yeah, I'm yeah. on season two of something. It's and you can't so announce it yet. Good. Yeah, you're right. You you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Cause, yeah, I was really passionate about it at the time. I like her. I can say that it's a girl. I like her as much as I like D.Va. Oh, man. Yeah. And okay. it's not a video game, so I don't feel like it's kind of... it's. It's betraying her. It's not like it's betraying D.Va, um, but I feel like uh, this girl is who D.Va sometimes feels like she is on the inside. That's all I'll say. But I can't okay. say it yet. It's coming out at no, the I end understand. of 2018 or maybe even the beginning of 2019. So, okay. all right. yeah. Thank you. Good seeing you again. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, God. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask Charles, have you ever watched Super Mario 64 speedrunning? Ever? No. No? Okay. I was just curious. No. And then... Where can, uh, where can I watch that? Uh, YouTube, I'm, I guess. On the intranet. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, kids, and, uh, with your Googles. Yeah, no, I will, though. Okay, and, uh, and then my question for you was, what's your favorite diva skin? 
Oh, Taeguki, which is a summer skin yeah. from last year. Okay, yeah. thank you. It's Appreciate clean it. and, and super cute. Yay. But I have on Cruiser right now from Anniversary. Don't you uh, see it? This is what I'm wearing. <laughs> um, as a visual artist myself, um, I understand that as artists we go through a lot of critiquing. Um, how would you advise any sort of artist, vocal actor, actor, artist, musician, how to approach critiques, whether meant harshly or constructive? Like, how would you advise you handle those uh, and not you take mean, it that way? Somebody criticizes you working in, you, you, like, like that? Yes. Well, you know, I, I, yeah. you're the only, you're the artist. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you can learn from those outside things, have the confidence and self-worth self to go, that's worth something or that's not worth something. But you are ultimately the one who's responsible to understand where you're coming from. You can't create in response to somebody else. It has to come from your soul. I completely agree with that. Yeah. I just said that at my <laughs> panel with Phil Lamar, actually, like last week. I it, love Phil Lamar. I love Phil Lamar, too. I wish too. I had been on that it's panel amazing. with Phil Lamar and you. Yeah. Oh, me I too. I want to go backwards in time. <laughs> you know, um, honestly, it, I, it really is true. Yeah. It's like, it's your heart and your soul. You know, I was, I, 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 I love little Anthony. Anybody ever watched Anthony and the, the, the Johnsons? Mm -hmm. There is an artist who, you know, a, 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 a born a man who thinks, you know, who, who, is, who is, I don't know how you say it, you know, but a transgender and sings from the depth of his soul, his truth. And if you watch him sing, sing, If It Be Your Will, just check out If It Be Your Will, Antony. And l the way his soul just pours his pain into that is incredible. And if I said to him, no, 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 the way you have to create is like from joy and happiness and love, you know, he'd be like, what? And how many people do you think said to him, you know, no, that's not right. You know, oh my God, what are you, this or that or this or that? But his spirit set the fire in his soul that made his creativity possible. The same thing with Tom Waits, the, you know, people that are just amazing artists. Be that person, be your hero. Be the hero that, that lights your fire and creates your soul going forward. And whatever anybody else says, yeah, nice. <laughs> I yeah. always say, you do you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both very, very much. Very, very precise. That's, that's right. Uh, what would you say the most embarrassing moment in your voice acting career was? Both of you. I don't have one. I've had nothing but fun. <laughs> I've had nothing but fun. It's just like, here's this wonderful gift. Play, have fun. Because that's what we do. We play for a living. You know, it, so there, you can't be, I mean, I, there's just, how about you? I don't, I don't think I've had an, I have embarrassing moments every day of, like, in my life, but not in work. <laughs> like, it's just, it's kind of straightforward, so. Yeah. But that's a good question. I'm going to have to think about that, because I'm sure yeah. I have one. Right. <laughs> yeah, if you hear uh, over the last week, oh, then you'll know we figured, figured one out. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> gosh, thank, thank you. you. Are you a cardinal? Uh, yes. Thank you, cardinal. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, we're going to have to go really fast now because we're, we have like eight people, but I have like three minutes. Hey guys, I wondered uh, if you could imagine a family reunion in your game universes, what would that play out like? Oh. Well, we have them all the time. I literally was just with Johnny a couple of days ago. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll see, oh yeah, that we're going to be making an announcement, or we already made an announcement, but we're going to be tweeting out a picture later today. But um, what's really cool about our this particular project, and it's not always like this with all games or all TV shows, but the cast really gets along really well. So as you guys know, there's some younger characters, like myself, and then there's some older characters. The older characters are voiced by Matt Mercer, Fred Tattashore, and Crispin, you know, Crispin Freeman, who's kind of straddles the line between you know the the veterans and 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 um, us youngins but um, they they really really are great humble people that um, are just have great personalities and we as, as sort of the younger cast members um, have really come to love them and, and vice versa so I feel like and we a lot of us because a lot of people think that I'm actually that diva was like drawn after me which I think is really flattering but I'm nowhere near anatomically perfect and so um, as 
and so and there are similarities between who we are. I think Blizzard did a really good job in casting because there's a huge, like, just so many correlations um, between the actor and the actual character. So um, if you can imagine what it would be like for everybody to meet, that's pretty much what it's like in real life, too. And, and they meet every day in Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to have to go really fast. All Sorry. Right. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think Waluigi should have more, like, screen time? <laughs> <laughs> like, more games? <laughs> 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 yes, in his own game, too. First of all, I want to say thank you for coming out here. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having us. And this is good. And Charles, um, is Luigi playable in Mario Odyssey? Is, is what? Is Luigi going to be playable in Mario Odyssey? I can't tell you a single thing about that game because I signed these NDAs, so I can't tell you a single thing. Watch Nintendo.com because information is coming out all the time on that. So Nintendo.com will, will tell you everything that, that can legally be said. Thank you. <laughs> But it's gonna have. It's gonna be so great. It's gonna be so great. I don't even know the, the launch date yet. So it's gonna be great. All right. This is Thank for Charlotte. You. Hi. Um, so, if you were ever to be in a Diva animated short, would you rather it be like a backstory for Diva or have her as a supporting character, kind of oh. like Daria? In <laughs> backstory the all the way. I mean, is that even a question? <laughs> yeah. No, I make up all kinds of stuff. And actually, I talked to Kaplan about it too um, before about the things that I would want to see in an animated short. Would Jeff Kaplan actually follow through? I don't know, but he listened to me like the whole time. So I think he took some notes in terms of what I would want to do. But a lot of times when I say, "Oh," this skin would be wonderful or this this would be wonderful in the in the lore or in the in the uh, cinematic or whatever um not cinematic but other other parts like campaigns and stuff it never really comes true so i feel like i need to just keep my lips sealed and go in and figure out what it's what's going to happen but um yeah i don't know if that answers your question but <laughs> it does thank you uh-huh hi hi did you love yoshi I do love Yoshi! Yippee! Yoshi's my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. What about you? Do you love Yoshi? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Who's your, what's your favorite color, Yoshi? What's your favorite color? I'm um, pink. Pink Yoshi. Whoopee! Do you like the green one, too? Oh, uh, yeah. Luigi likes the green one, too. And I like the red one, too, and I like the blue one. Woohoo! And the polka dotted one. And the pink one. Yes, you're so great. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, thank you. Thank I you. Love you. Yoshi number one. You number one princess. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you, Papa. All right, Miss Marne, I know you've Hi. been Mario ever since, and this is a pretty simple one. You started in one of the worst Mario games ever, didn't you? Weren't you in Mario Fundamentals? Wasn't that I one of your first ones? So, possibly so, yeah. Possibly yeah, because so. I always remember that one because it's so funny because you're the modern voice and we love you for it. <laughs> but that game was about playing Go Fish and chess with you and it was kind of lame. Though I do love the fact that you say, Mario thinks I'm fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Mario thinks I'm fantastic. Hmm. Hi. Uh, this question's for Charlotte. <laughs> yes. Hi. Who do you ship Diva with? Oh, I can't comment on that. <laughs> you, I, I don't know if you follow me on uh, on social media, but sometimes I allude to certain um, people, uh, certain certain man, one certain man. But uh, you guys seem to know more about that than I do. But um, actually, no, that's not true. I know very much about. Like I know a lot about this. Um, but uh, I can't. I don't. Um, you'll have to find out. <laughs> but oh, I do have one thing to say. I am a huge supporter of the ship between 76 and Diva, and not in a, an incestuous way, but um, I. I had a really hard childhood, and so when I see gamers out there appreciating um, the, really, the healthy sort of father-daughter relationship they, that they have, um, I'm really, I like that. I think that that's really cool, that that's something that we can all live vicariously through. And also because Fred Tattashore is my favorite voiceover artist of all time. He's like the nicest, most talented man that I feel like I've ever met in the voiceover world. So I would say um, Diva76. Yay. Two more questions. No. Would you go ahead? Say it, say that. Just go ahead and ask, and I can hear you. How do you feel about the Super Mario Bros. cartoon? 
How do I feel about the Super Mario Bros. cartoon? And do I own it? I, you know, I loved that. I thought it was like so much fun, you know, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's beautiful. That was before my time. That was in the 1980s when it was just, you know, there's this thing and, you know, as they say, creativity inspires creativity. So I love creativity. It's, it's spectacular. I heard also they made a movie, but I didn't see it. Thanks, you guys, for all your questions. Wait, wait, there's one more, there's one more, one more, one more. Oh, no, he was actually... He's a moderator. ...by line, so Yay! that was a lot of questions. We made it in time. Thank we made you, it everybody. everybody. What's, you what, awesome. is your, what is your Instagram name? It's Charlotte Chung, C-H-A-R-L-E-T-C-H-U-N-G. And I'm Charles Martinet. It's a me. <laughs> Come and see us at our table. We're going to have some fun. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Everyone, Thank give a big round of applause to Charles Martinet and Charlotte Chung. Thank you guys so much for talking with us.